Good morning, SM. <laughs> Uncle Richie here. Uh, fist bump Friday. Hey, can you stand it? It's a weekend already, and it, this is awesome. We're here. We're live. We're doing it. Okay. Uh, remember our Spartan Pride. Okay. All these kids have, have seen Spartan Pride in their classrooms, and their teachers have nominated them. Again, Pride stands for professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity and excellence. Sometimes they have a problem with the D, okay? But I didn't this time, did I? Right, Seamus? Thank you. All right, on to our fist pumps. We got Mike McCombie from Miss Corbett. Woo! Yes, we've got to have the fist fly. We have Michael Thompson from Mrs. Ransom. Woo! We got Ak Akton Kunan. I'm sorry if I'm destroying your name, from Miss Hammond and Miss Lorenzo. Excellence. Woo! Hey, we got Ajatsi Labatos from Mr. Burgess. Woo! We got Abigail DeFeo from Miss Shug. Woo! We got Stephen Simcoe from Miss Corbett. Woo! We got Margaret Rich from Miss Karochi. Great job, everybody. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Hey, I think the Jets are going to win. What do you think? I think it's the Jets year. Gang Green! All right. Hey, have a great weekend. Richie loves you. Peace out. Good morning and happy Friday. Today is a day four and here's your top news stories. Due to the stabbing of a teenager in January, all visitors under 18 years of age must be accompanied by an adult of 21 years of age at all times throughout Destiny USA. This parent escort policy will be in effect today. All guests should be prepared to show a valid identification upon entering the building. The UK has pulled the broadcasting license for the Chinese state-owned broadcasting service China Global Television Network. The UK media regulator Ofcom said on Thursday that they had decided to revoke the company's license after they concluded that the license is wrongfully held by Star China Media Limited. Because they did not have editorial responsibility and were acting as the distributor rather than the producer of the news channel. Yesterday, Representative Green from Georgia lost her committee seats in a bipartisan vote in which 11 Republicans joined House Democrats to remove her from those assignments. After an emotionally charged debate about Green's past support of dangerous conspiracies and rhetoric, such as questioning the truth of school shootings, promoting anti-Semitic falsehoods, and encouraging political violence. While Congresswoman Green tried to defend herself by saying these were words of the past and these things do not represent me, they do not represent my district, and they do not rep represent my values, the House voted 230 to 199 to punish her by weakening her influence in Congress. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we'll be breezy with mixed rain and snow with an accumulation of an inch for most, but around two to four inches across Tug Hill with highs near 40. Um, Saturday will be a bit cooler with a chance for a few snow showers and heavier lake effects now north of Syracuse with highs in the mid-20s. Sunday has a chance for some brief snow with highs in the 20s. Monday will be windy um, and cold with a chance of snow showers with highs near 20. Tuesday has a chance for snow with highs in the upper 20s and both Wednesday and Thursday will be chilly with snow showers and of highs in the 20s. The weather today is brought to you by Early Childhood Classes. Early Childhood Education is a program for students who are interested in preparing for a career in or related to education. In the morning, students have an opportunity to assist a classroom teacher in one of the elementary schools or Park Hill Preschool. Students will see firsthand what the job of a teacher or assistant in an elementary school or preschool classroom entails. Throughout this course of the year, students are exposed to a variety of activities, lessons, and special areas. Students may earn up to nine college credits from an OCC from completing two years of the program.
Last night, the women's basketball team beat Wake Forest 85-74. to Now, we're officially two days away from the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 55, Kansas City Chiefs versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, real quick, I'm going to give you my keys to the game for both teams. Now, if you're Tampa Bay, make sure your pass protection is on key because you have to give Tom Brady time. That rush from the front of Kansas City is going to be disturbing and try to pass away from Tyron Matthew as much as you possibly can. Now, on defense, make sure you get Patrick out of the pocket. Try to, as much as you possibly can, try to disrupt him, but don't bring too much pressure because in the past, he's been good against the pressure. Now, you also want to stop Le'Veon Bell, Clyde Edwards, Alaire, and Damian Williams, who might have a breakout game due to the fact that the defense for Tampa Bay is horrible. Um, well, running wise. Now, Kansas City, if you're Kansas City, bring the pressure to Brady. He is old. He's probably going to save himself, and he's not going to run as much. So if you can try to sack him, do as much as you can, bring pressure. Now, if you're the offense, like I said, the run defense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers isn't the greatest. So, you know, Le'Veon Bell's been an all-pro running back for a while now. Now, lately he hasn't been on that kind of level. But if you can get him on that level in some sort of way, you will be okay. Especially Clyde edwards Alaire, who's had a breakout year as a rookie, and Damian Williams, who saved you the Super Bowl last year. And I'm Tanner with your sports. That's all we have for today. So from me and everyone else on the morning show, have a great day and a fantastic weekend.